A very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen, here in the studio. And for those of you watching us at home, all but too soon, we are getting to the end of season three of the Sharks Academic Competition. It's been a very exciting journey. Um, lots of schools that started this competition, we have filtered through. And today, we have two illustrious institutions that will battle it out for the ultimate crown of who becomes the victors for 2019-2020 edition of the competition. So ladies and gentlemen, our finals for the third edition of this competition is going to be between Presbyterian Boys Senior High School and Maoli Senior High School. Shall we have an introduction of the candidates before we get into the details? We'll start off with Presbyterian Boys. Safu Edu Isaac, General Science, Final Year. Next. Nketia Benjamin, General Science, Final Year. Next. Ejay Mita Benjamin, General Science, Final Year. And then we have... Bokwe George Boy, General Final Year. Please, a round of applause for the contingent from Presby Boys. And then to my left, we have... Mohammed Rashida, General Arts, Year 3. Next. Tulasi Belinda, Year 3. Then we have... A club to Maxwell, Year 3. And then... Thompson and Oak Fortune, General Science, Year 3. So, Maoli School, ably represented by Rashida, Belinda, Akloboto, and Thompson, Enoch. So, these are the schools that will be battling it out over the next four rounds of the final contest for this year's competition. <laughs> Round number one, each school will have a maximum of eight minutes within which you, you have a maximum of three minutes, three minutes, not eight, three, within which you answer eight questions. We shall start off with Presbyterian Boys Senior High School. Question one. Who is the longest serving finance minister of the Republic of Ghana? Yes, it is. Professor Kwesiboche. Professor Kwesiboche is correct. I'll give you that. Dr. Kwesiboche, I'll give you that. Who is the author of Things Fall Apart? Yes, AJ Menta. Chinua Achibe. Chinua, Chinua Achibe is correct for 10 points. In which year was the University of Ghana established? Yes, A.J. Menta. 1948. 1948. 1948. Which Ghanaian king was killed while crossing the river Pra? Which Ghanaian king? Yes, A.J. Menta. I say to the first. What? Now now say to the first. Or say to the first. Or say speak confidently into the camera and to the microphone so we can hear you. Or say to the first. Who became the president of the Republic of Guinea? Who became the first president of the Republic of Guinea? Yes, AJ Menta. Sekuture. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Ahmed! Ahmed! Ahmed Sekuture. In which Ghanaian kingdom was Asmeni the king? Yes, A.J. Menta. The denture. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm not going to take denture. I'm not going to take denture. Your final question, which people built the National Theater? Yes, A.J. Menta, is that Boyd? The Chinese. The Chinese, the Chinese, the Chinese, the Chinese. The Chinese built the National Theatre for the Republic of Ghana. And so that is it for you for round number one. That means we move on to Maoli Senior High School. And I'm ready whenever you are. Ready. Belinda says they are ready. Your three minutes starts now. In which year was the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology established? Yes, is that Belinda? 1961. I'm sorry, 1961 is not correct. It's not correct. Question two, which Ghanaian king was said to have driven the British governor out of the Osu castle? Christian Castle, Odesu. 
Yes. Nana has so many. Nana has so many. Uh, uh, the, the title is not Nana, but I'll give it to you. I mean, he's gacking. I'll give it to you. I'll give you 10 points. Who became the first president of the Republic of Zambia? Yes, Belinda? Kenneth Kwanda. Kenneth, I'll take that. Kenneth, Kenneth Kaunda. Kaunda, I'll take that. Who is the author of the book, quote, The Beautiful Ones Are Not Yet? Yes, Rashida? Aikwe Ama. Correct for 10 points. Uh, what is the real name of the Asantehini Otumfo or say to the second? Skip. Yes, they will skip that. Question six. Which country is the largest producer of cocoa in the world? Yes, Belinda. La Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire is correct for 10 points. The final question for this round. Who was the first African to become the president of the United Nations General Assembly? Yes, Belinda. Putros, Putros, Gali. I'm sorry, he must have been Secretary General of the United Nations. But we're talking about the General Assembly. And so that answer is not, that answer is not correct. But ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for them. That is... That is it. Originally, you gotta take it. Macberry, 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 be it with love. Macberry, 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 original. Macberry, see we love it, everybody love it. Love. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. At the end of round number one, Presbyterian Boys Senior High School has a total of 60 points. A round of applause for them. And Maoli Senior High School has a total of 40 points. For round number two, you no longer have eight, have eight questions and penalties are applied at this stage of the competition. So it's important for you to pay attention closely to the rules of engagement. Each, each school has an opportunity to answer a question. If you answer correctly, you have a maximum of 10 points. If you answer wrongly, there's a penalty of five. If you decide not to answer the question, we shall transfer the question to the opposing school as a bonus question for five points, if they answer correctly. If they answer wrongly, there's a penalty of five. We we'll start off once again with Presbyterian Boys Senior High School. The preamble applies to both schools. You are to choose the word among these alternatives, one that is nearest in meaning to the words I read. Presbyterian Boys, your word is delitante. D I L E. T T A N T E. The options opponent for A, B specialist, C amateur, B expect. The bell is gone, so that question gets transferred as a bonus question to Maoli Senior High School. And the bell is gone, you forfeit the opportunity to get five points. Maoli, your main question, same preamble. Choose the word that is nearest in meaning to Simon Pure. S-I-M-O-N hyphen P-U-R-E. The options A, false, B, genuine, C, holy, and D, artificial. Artificial. The bell is gone, so we transfer that as a bonus question to Presbyterian boys. 
they would rather not attempt it. Presbyterian boys, your main question, same preamble. Choose the word that is nearest in meaning to knavery. Knavery. K N A V E R Y. Knavery. A. Heroism. B. Cowardice. C. Dishonesty. And D. Stupidity. Yes, I had your bell before mine, so I'll give you the opportunity. Was that Safuedu? Cowardice. Cowardice. I'm sorry, the correct answer is not cowardice. So it's a bonus question to Mauli and I see Rashida. Dishonesty. Dishonesty, ladies and gentlemen. Dishonesty. Dishonesty it is. Mauli Senior High School. Same preamble. Choose the word that is nearest in meaning to sabulous. S-A-B-U-L-O-U-S. Sabulous. A, spoiled, B, sandy, C, stitching, and D, fury. When the grammarian of the team shakes her head, you know there is trouble on the, there's fire on the mountain. We'll transfer that as a bonus question to Presbyterian boys. And Safwe Du is still writing. Safwe Du is still writing. Presbyterian boys, Choose the word that is best opposite in meaning to infructuous. I N F F R U C T U O U S. The options A devious, B straight, C remote, D attractive. Attract attractive. And that's a bonus question to. Mauli Senior High School. Rashida, you're shaking your head. This one, you won't try it. The correct answer there is straight. Straight. Mauli Senior High School, your main question. Choose the word that is best opposite in meaning to the word ters. T-E-R-S-E. A, con concise. B, detailed. C, expensive. D, descriptive. Yes, Rashida. Is it, was that uh, Rashid? Detailed. Detailed, ladies and gentlemen, is correct. Detailed. Detailed is correct. Presbyterian boys. A woodworker normally makes a certain number of parts in 24 days. But he was able to increase his productivity by five parts per day. And so he not only finished the job in only 22 days, but also made extra 80 parts. How many parts does the woodworker normally make per day and how many pieces does he make in 24 days? Yes, in KTR Benjamin. 360 parts. 360, 360. 360. Maoli School. A biker, a biker covered half the distance between two towns in two hours, 30 minutes. After that, he increased his speed by two kilometers per hour. He covered the second half of the distance in two hours, 20 minutes. Find the distance between the two towns and the initial speed of the biker, right? Find the distance. Let's find the distance between the two towns. That's not them, but that's your bell. Okay, so my bell went, but I had your bell before. Um, I'm not sure why I'm hearing your bell because we have, we, have, we have finished here, but let, let me give you the opportunity to get, a bonus, to get a bonus question here. 140 kilometers. 140 kilometers is correct. 140 is correct. Presbyterian boys, your main question. A number of the form, a number of the form 213AB, where A and B are digits has a remainder less than 10 
when divided by 100. The sum of all the digits in the number above the sum of the digits in the number sorry the sum of the digits in the number above the sum of the digits in the number that I've just described to you is equal to 13 find the digit B Mr. Boyd you just look at your colleagues and smile you know it's not going well eh that's a bonus question to Maoli Senior High School. Yes, is that Raymond? Or that is uh, Raymond? We have B to be seven. B is seven, B is seven. B is seven, B is seven. Your main question, Maoli Senior High School. And this effectively brings me to the end of round Number two, the equation one over a plus one over the absolute of a is zero, equals zero, has a, an infinite number of solutions, b, no solutions, c, one solution only, d, two solutions only, and E, three solutions only. Yes, is that Raymond or that is a uh, Raymond? Yes? That's no solution. It has? No solution. No solution. I'm sorry, that can't be correct. That's not correct, and so we'll transfer that. Yes, in Ketia ben is that in Ketia Benjamin? Yes. Only one solution. I'm sorry, that also is wrong. <laughs> that also is wrong. It has an infinite number of solutions, an infinite number of solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of round number two. Please, a round of appreciation for these <laughs> candidates. The best things here at Webster in terms of our academics are our small classroom settings. Allowing you to have that feel of just being alone with the teacher. You get a glimpse of the world in a classroom. The school is an inclusive school. I can't think of a better place to study than Webster. It's a place you could grow without doing much. Not only do they make you feel like you can succeed, you know you can succeed. We have a lot of interesting courses. Socially, it's like a family. It feels like family. We have a lot of seminars by the students and it gives you a lot of time to flourish and develop yourself. We're diverse and it's beautiful. Everyone is very inclusive of everyone else. Webster will not only change you, it will transform your world. Webster University is an American university with both full service and study abroad locations in the USA, Switzerland, Netherlands, Greece, China, the UK, Austria, Thailand, and Ghana. We get the rules of engagement for round three, but before then, the scores at the end of round number two. Presbyterian boys have zero points. They've not amassed any points from this round, and Maoli School has 15 points. <laughs> <coughs> Maoli School has 15 points. The rules of engagement in round three again are modified. This time you don't have to compete only with our timekeeper. You compete against the speed of the opposing school to answer the questions as well. So questions will be posed to both schools. You can buzz in at any time while the question is being read to provide the answer. If you answer correctly, you have 10 points. If it's wrong, you have a penalty of five. Round three starts now to both schools. Three identical resistors are connected in parallel. The equivalent resistance increases by 350 ohms. When one resistor is removed and connected in series with the remaining two, which are still in parallel, the resistance of each resistor is A, 250 ohms, B, no, A, 200 ohms, B, 250 ohms, C, 300, and D, 350 ohms. My bell is gone. You both forfeit the opportunity to get the correct answer and get 10 points. 
Correct answer there's 300 ohms. 300 ohms. To both schools. A convergent lens used to magnify a real image. Huh? A convergent lens is used to magnify a real image. Given that the distance from the image to that of the optical center is 1.5 times the distance of the object to the optical center, and the focal length of the lens is 20 centimeters, what is the object's distance to the optical center? I hear Bell, is that Raymond? Or is uh, Thompson Enoch? 33.33 centimeters. Oh, that's not correct. And my bell is gone. The answer is... So, let me, let me give you an, op an opportunity to get the full mark, right? Otherwise, I, I, this I'm using my discretion here. If I ask you to convert that into meters, what would your answer be? 0 0.33. He knows what he's talking about. He knows it. He knows it. He knows what he's talking about. This is the fun of the competition. He knows what he's talking about. To both schools. Sodium lauryl sulfate, also called SDS, is an example of this kind of substance found in shampoos for 10 points each. Name these compounds that lower the surface tension. Yes, is that cereal? Surfactant. Surfactant. The surfactant is correct. To both schools. Surfactant. Surfactant typically form these single-layered spherical structures that allow their lipid tails to be surrounded by non-polar molecules. That should be, is that Raymond? We are Micel. Micel. Micel! To both schools, and what effectively will be my last question for round number three. Surfactants contain derivatives of this polyatomic ion whose formula is NH4+. That should be the bell of cereal, I Am guess. Ammonium ion. Ammonium ion. Ammonium. 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 It is. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of round... It brings us to the end of round number three. At the end of round three, Presbyterian boys have a total of 35 points. A round of applause for them. And Maoli School has 30 points. 30 points. This takes us to round number four. And in round four, the questions will be in the areas of English, Math, Science, and General Knowledge. Shall we have the candidates in English stay at the podium? Everybody else can take a back stay. You are to complete the sentence with the words that I will read. So I'll read the sentence, I'll read the words. You are to complete the sentence with the word. Marvelous dash for the light swish in the dark. 
A, groped. B, grappled. C, gripped. And D, groveled. That should be Safwe do? Groveled. Groveled. That's not correct. Groveled. A, groped. A, 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 it is. A, groped. A, groped. Groped. Groped it is. Groped it is. To most schools. Since, so same preamble. You're going to complete, you're going to complete the sentence with possible words that I'm going to read out. Since she is a teacher of language, one would not expect her to be guilty of dash. Hmm? One would not expect her to be guilty of a dash. A, aberration. B, solicism. C, schism. And D, bombast. Rashida. <laughs> aberration. That's not correct. Aberration is not correct, Rashid. Aberration is not correct. Safwe, do I hear your bell as well? So you have the opportunity to answer the question. B. B it is. B it is. B it is. Solicism it is. Solicism. Solicism it is. You may both take your leave. And we have candidates. <laughs> I, shall we have candidates to answer questions in general science? This body, this body is the only one in the solar system which exhibits a polar vortex or persistent cyclone whose constituent gases are warmer than surrounding gases. It is also, it's so, it's so called great white spot is not one spot but rather storms that occur every 28.5 years. Name this planet the solar system's second. Yes, that must be Cyril. Venus. I'm sorry, it's not Venus. So I finished, no, I had your bell. I can't finish the clue. I had your bell. Enoch? We have the answer to be. Mass. It's not mass. It's not mass. It's not mass. Now, if you allow me to finish, name this planet in the which is the solar system's second largest. What would your answer have been? Saturn. 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 That's what would have been. And so the question being completed is equally relevant to the competition. To both schools, John McCarthy named this research field one standard in which is the Turing test or capture. Its weak hypothesis says it exists without consciousness and its strong form will be very general and exceed human capacity. Yes, Cyril? Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, AI, or machine learning. That is correct. That is correct for 10 points. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is for our science questions. So we have a round of applause for them as they leave. This has been a brilliant display. And we shall have our candidates to answer questions in mathematics. Two questions. Question one. Check. Check whether... 18,252, 18,252 is a perfect cube or not? If not, Raymond? It's a perfect cube. It's a perfect cube. Your answer is it's a perfect cube, but that's not the answer I have because you haven't even had my question, right? If not, Find the number which is to be multiplied by 18252 to become a perfect cube. 
The whole Ghana is waiting on you, Nketiah Benjamin. The whole country. And my bell is gone. <laughs> to both schools. The difference between two natural numbers is 196. And the ratio of the numbers is 9 is to 5. Find the two natural numbers. Raymond? We have the natural numbers to be 49 and 245. I am sorry, it's not 49 and 245. It's not 49 and 245. And my bell is gone. And so that is it for the math questions. You can both take leave of us, Raymond and Nketiah Benjamin. As we get to the very final engagement between the two schools. Candidates for general knowledge. General knowledge. Question one. What is the capital of Nicaragua? Yes, George Boyd. Managua. 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 Managua it is. Managua it is. To both schools. Which figure in the Roman numerals is called the Devil's Dozen? The Devil's Dozen. <laughs> the Devil's Dozen. <laughs> And Mr. Boyd, you know, Mr. Boyd just decides this is not my terrain. I am not going to uh, incur the penalty of five, which is an interesting strategy. But if you were to take a shot at it, what would that have been? XII. X, XII. X, and that would have landed you in trouble because it's not, it's, it's not XII. If, if I asked you to take a shot, what would, I, what would you have picked? You chicky picks XII, which is not correct. What would you have taken? Belinda, Belinda, what would you have taken? You wouldn't have taken anything. So it means you also made the right decision. The, the correct answer there is the number 13. XIII. The number 13. <laughs> XII is 12. The number 13. The number 13. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for them as. <laughs> you know the devil's number is 13, but XII is not 13. XII is 12. XII is 12. So shall we have the other candidates join us as, please, a round of applause. This has been, this has been a brilliant display by all the contestants, I should say. So at the end of round four, and what effectively is the end of the competition, and the finals of the 2019-2020 Sharks Academic Competition, the third edition of this competition for senior high schools, the scores are as follows. Presbyterian boys, 115 points, 115. A round of applause for them. And Maoli School has a total of 75 points. Even Einstein would not be able to misinterpret what these numbers mean. Effectively, Presbyterian Boys Senior High School are victors, not only of this contest, 
but indeed they are the winners of the 2019-2020 Sharks Academic Competition for senior high schools across the country. A round of applause for them. This is by no means Just <laughs> 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 quizzes endorsed by the Ministry of Education with support from.